like how Ravy has questions mm-hmm. for the fellas. Yes. Greg has queries for heteros. Queries for heteros. Hey, girl. Boy. Hey. hey, girl. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. The first question I have for heteros. Yes. Like, hi. Requires a tiny bit of setup. Start, right. Starting with the recent cockroach incident we had in the studio where yeah. mm-hmm. we fed them through the glory hole. Sure. Yes. Yeah. And they escaped. Yes. So I got this text over to the show asking, would I be less afraid if I pictured the roaches with little D's? Because <laughs> 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 you love them. And yeah. then, little, little wieners. <laughs> right. With little wieners. Like, okay. would that make it less scary? Mm. And then within the last, I don't know, half hour, I learned from Seabass that there's a little Easter egg in our most recent animated podcast where I'm looking at a laptop computer and there's an I Heart Home Goods sticker on it. Yeah. And I mm-hmm. thought, oh, that's on Greg's laptop. That's, that's a, yeah. totally that's a, that's an Easter appropriate. Egg. That's yeah. fun. Home Goods. And Seabass told me that originally the animator just had my name, Greg, but it was in a rainbow flag. Ooh. Wonder why that would be. Yeah. That's right. Weird. So when it comes to stuff like, oh, would you be less afraid of bugs if you picture them with little Ds or the Greg <laughs> thing written in rainbow? Uh-huh. My question is, do you guys think, just in general, straight guys, yeah, do you think that gay guys think of everything on earth in terms of gayness and Ds and stuff? Um, you know what I mean? I, I, well, yeah, I, okay, I, I, have, I, have a, I have a thought immediately. That's a good question. Because yeah. God forbid we have a yeah. discussion mm-hmm. about hot dogs. Oh, I bet yeah. Greg likes hot dogs. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, is everything under the sun? Okay, right. yeah. now. Do you think we think that way? There are two types of gays that I know, right? Yeah. There are gays like you, and I would say for you, no. And then there are other gays that we know, <clears throat> Mike the show killer, <laughs> who absolutely everything in his life is through the filter of gay. His yeah. entire and, which, which is you have yeah. brought up before. Yes. Like, hey, mm-hmm. I went on a vacation. Oh, did you go to a gay the, resort? A gay resort. Yeah. yeah, and then which celebrity might be gay? And right. like, everything uh-huh. is through that filter. So yeah. I, would, I would say mm-hmm. for some... Yes. So it depends on the person? Right. I think it depends on the person. Yeah. I like, just don't automatically too, assume that. It's too yeah. broad a question. No, uh, like overall, no, I don't feel that way. But mm. I agree with Woody that it can be done on a case-by-case basis. Yeah. Yeah. And there are certainly what, those yeah. that are just ween obsessed. Yeah, what I was going to say is uh, through all the gay people that I know that Mike is in the minority where he right. constantly brings right. it up. But I think it's the straight people who bring up the gay part exactly. way more than gay people do because yeah. mm. uh, straight people want to joke about it. They exactly. want to talk about it. Agree. You know, they want to say wanna how they're not, a, a they're, not a, gay. <laughs> they're not offended by it. You yeah. know, they're mm-hmm. the ones that initiate the conversation more mm-hmm. than gay yeah. people do. And straight people are obsessed with it. They're like, we I think get most, it. You want to have sex with the, some, <laughs> <right>. <laughs> somebody of the same But I think mostly in a fun way. Like, I don't, I don't yeah, really but see like, or Why do you have like, to constantly bring it up? People being like mean spirited about it. Yeah, but I did ask one of my friends. I'm like, do you find that exhausting that straight people constantly bring up that you're gay and they, you know, want to have a conversation about it? I'm like, "Ah, I don't mind it, but it is funny that straight people want to talk about it constantly. I would say, yeah, like switch that around. Let's say you are a straight guy who's afraid of, I don't know, snakes. Yeah. And you would say, hey, what? that's <laughs> exactly it. Would you yeah. be less afraid of that snake if you had a pair of sweet knockers? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I, I would be weirded yeah. out by that snake. I yeah. even wrote that on my sheet. Would you be afraid of bugs if you pictured him with little boobs? Like, right. I would never think to ask a straight guy that. Yeah. yeah. But right. immediately mm-hmm. I get asked, okay. oh, what if they had little D's? Would they be... I mean, the well, correct answer is they would even have big D's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. And six uh-huh. packs. Yeah. Menace, you're right. It six is, pack abs. It's exhausting. It's, it's the straight people. Um, yeah. I mean, it, it, it's kind of a whole, it's a it's a twist on the whole, like, well, if you're nervous speaking in front of a crowd, picture, picture the crowd naked. naked. Right. Like a combo of that and the fact that you're just obsessed and you love D. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. I wouldn't ask but a you straight are, guy And that. I agree with the text here. It says, uh, you are an against the grain gay, you know? In in a lot of ways, I I think he's a polar so. opposite of Mike because the the gay people that I'm around are like, I would say in the middle between Mike and Greg. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think Greg. I, I see that. I don't For think sure. he's against the grain. I think he's. I think there's a very vocal majority that's mm-hmm. like everything it takes is over mega everything. super gay all right. the time, and that's all I am is gay. Right. 
And that's what you hear. That's the messaging you hear. And I have a good amount of friends that are I mean, vocal just minority. like me. I think he, I think because he's, Menace is saying that most people he knows aren't like that. Right. I think the vocal minority yeah. is what you hear and see. Okay. Yes. It's the in your face thing. And Greg's the, right. uh, the silent yeah. majority, to use that old term. Yeah. Okay. It's that more makes sense. like, hey, I just want to live my life. I don't need to talk about D's all the time. <laughs> right. <laughs> no. yeah. Some of the time. And then the not people, all the time. The, yeah, the people I know is like my mild D talk. Yeah. But Greg. <laughs> <laughs> like how women say, like, oh, I don't want to see that. I want to see a piece. Uh-huh. It's like, you're fine with seeing it. Of course. Yeah, exactly. Like, oh, I got sent a D-pick. Yeah. Oh, great. gross. Cool. Well, I mean, if you're into it, yeah. great. Yeah. If that's Kinda what like, you're into, I don't right. see like why you would be like so turned like, off by it. Like we've talked about in the past, too. If a guy has a very good body and he's wearing a Speedo. Oh, I hate Speedos. Really? Seeing more of him is gross? Yes. It, I don't get it. I mean, a Speedo, Speedo is a look weird look. It is terrible. If, it is a weird look. If you're in a, You better be in the Olympics. Great shape. Exactly. You better be in the Olympics swimming. Well, that's the yeah. thing. These guys in Speedos I see are yeah, right. definitely not in the Olympics. But we're not, They're at the I'm public not talking pool. about those. I'm talking about the guys that were in great shape in the yeah. Speedo. It's called, it's called Ronaldo. Look yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's called yeah. Ronaldo. Yeah. End of story. Now, along <laughs> that same question, I admit that I do look at certain things in terms of sex. For example, oh, we're about to go on vacation. Ooh, where where can we bang? Where can we can we go on the balcony and you know whatever? Oh, yeah. Or Buffet. when I move to a new house, all right, we're gonna do it right there. We're gonna mm-hmm. do it right there. We're gonna you do, do it right really? There. Yeah, like I do think certain things in terms of that. Like oh, it's gonna be fun to nice. christen the house. Oh, we can go. Oh, we can go in the guest room. Oh, tonight we're gonna. You know, we're getting this room painted, huh. so we have to sleep in the guest room. Oh, cool. We can have guest room sex. Like I do think <laughs> in terms of that. So do okay. straight guys ever think that way? Like I, when you. Buy a house? Do you think like, ooh, no. I can't wait nah. to bang my wife in here? I think your horny level is just too high. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have to go through your house with a black light? Oh my god! Yeah, every surface has been has been banged can, on. Can we touch anything <laughs> in there? Uh, but I think we have talked about this before, though, because it's just too just two guys. You know, their mindset. Yeah. You know, oh, sure. Our, our okay. mindset is focused on sex, and then you just double that. Then, um. Yeah. There's a lot going yeah, but on. Is Mario doing that same thing? I don't, does, he, does he think in those terms? I don't think so. Yeah, because mm, I, no, I like I don't. So. I don't either. And I'm like kind of surprised okay. at myself. I, mean, I, I, should, yeah. I, should, I should be <laughs> disappointed yeah. in yourself. Super interesting. I think, yeah, I, th- well, I think it's also a problem. Is it's way more cumbersome to have heterosex. Like mm-hmm. there, there's you have less angles and stuff you can do because uh-huh. you know it's not out there. It's in there. Okay. Hmm. And I think that's part of it is because, like, you can't just do it wherever in any corner. Yeah, cause you're just talking, like, <laughs> mouth parties, though. Or Well, either right? way. Either way. Yeah. Depends where. Yeah. You but know. even, like, hand stuff is harder with girls because there's angles and preparation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, but I thought because Greg has that whole, that he's more on the uh, the naughty, adventurous mm-hmm. side of things mm-hmm. just in general. And yeah. so he maybe is thinking more that way about, like, <laughs> outdoor <laughs> stuff and you know, like, like that's the or kind like of stuff where, that yeah, where can that's we... the kind of stuff that really mm-hmm. gets them going. You know, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, <laughs> yeah. oh, I really get them going. Yeah, it really it gets us going. going. You know, yeah. yeah, oh yeah, look yeah. at that angle. I, so I would say, I would say no, <laughs> menace. You say no, no. He no. Yeah, and I'm, I'm and he's disappointed. You're wondering I'm disappointed why myself. <laughs> we gotta step her game. I mean, we can ask the ladies. I mean, do, do ladies? Do you think that? Like, Hell no, no. You walk into the hotel. You think like, oh, which one's gonna be the sex bed? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in a two. hotel, I mean that's different because yeah. that's just a smaller space, and yeah. you know you're banging. So right, yeah. that's different. But like into like a new like, house or apartment. Yeah, Bort's, <laughs> <laughs> Bort's been out there looking at new apartments. I wonder, hey, Bort, like uh, as you and the wife are going through looking at all these new you apartments. At bang spaces? Yeah, is that your criteria? Yeah, yeah. I don't know about Shasta, but oh, are you like walking around like, yeah, we could do it there. A bang well, here. Yeah, we could do it there. A bang her up oh, yeah. against that window. I mean, just everywhere. No, yeah. Okay. I said, yeah, nice. just everywhere. But are you, are, you, are you agreeing with Greg? Like, is this uh, something that you think about? No, I, I think everywhere is open you don't think about it you're just like ah, oh okay yeah yeah take it where you can get it yeah i don't think <laughs> kind of thing yeah i agree with Greg. i think it. of all the places to bang my girl especially on vacation oh, okay. yeah, bro. Well, that makes sense <laughs> High five. that makes sense uh greg yes as a straight man i think where the banging will happen unfortunately my wife is not oh uh, do we need to check our tea levels <laughs> you guys yeah. have low tea yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, greg, so you're not alone i'm a straight man i want to bang in every room of a new house <laughs> and on you, balconies too are you totally. 19 years old <laughs> 
it's no, just you're like pain. Well, it's yeah. exciting. You're walking around yeah. in your new house. You're like, oh, okay, yeah. that's a good spot. That's a good spot. <laughs> Ooh, that'll be fun. All right, that'll be fun. Yeah. Right. Room. Uh, by female nice. here, and yes, I check nice. out places based mm-hmm. on how many spots <laughs> there are to have sex. Most crazy so far was a uh, finger bang situation on Pirates of the Caribbean at Disney World in Florida. Oh, that's just wrong. Uh, this is eye-opening. I'm a straight woman and always walk into a new space thinking, where's the banging going to happen? <laughs> so, Greg, I mean, it's all over the place. I think the all place right, to bang more than my husband. I also think about it when we are looking to purchase a new car as well. Well, how, what are your options? Oh, okay. Hmm. Uh, as a straight woman, I have thought about every place in my house, including the balcony. Yeah. Nice. That's a perfect spot. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, it's a lot of the same. Like, uh, Interesting. Yeah. Here, I'm a female, and my husband and I are house hunting, and I'm the one that tells him, if we lived here, we could totally do it here, there. <laughs> yeah, but who's yeah. buying the house? <laughs> yeah, seriously. No, yeah. All right. Uh, do you have another question? I do. Um, when a few Halloweens ago, <laughs> we had a group of trick-or-treaters come to our house, and they were kind of all lined up waiting to receive their candy. First little girl princess trick-or-treat next kid ghost whatever trick-or-treat the last kid little boy didn't say trick-or-treat he just said i love your house (laughs) (laughs) and so we both said when he left we both said we said oh mary you know like (laughs) so when you were a kid as a hetero did you care about your bedroom did you care about design did you care about furniture or houses or clothing or shoes oh, i Not did for yeah one second all of it yeah i would like do drawings of houses that i wanted uh and i would like yeah keep up on fashion and stuff but okay. like was did your drawing involve actual design was it like oh it'd be a fire pole be cool here <laughs> i would yeah. draw like yeah. for a short time i wanted to be a landscaper greg you would have oh, been hell yeah. so happy with me yeah. during that time of my life and i would draw <laughs> i would draw like landscaping designs and stuff oh, like here's that. the grotto and yeah the- yeah, never. Because it's probably too, you know, deep of a psychological study to figure that out. But I think that for myself personally, uh, I was very much like that kid who said, "Ooh, love your house." <laughs> <laughs> the, the worst night of the week for me as a kid was a night with a full moon because I could see everything in my room, and I thought, "Up, oh, so I much is wrong." Got to clean yeah. that. Uh-huh. Got to rearrange that. Yeah. Oh, I think a plant would look nice there, you know. And yeah. if I got a new phone, uh, I would have to redo the whole room because I had a new phone. And I was you just had a phone in your room. <laughs> phone? Oh wow! Lucky. When wow. I was, I know I wasn't I was allowed scared. to have a phone. Wasn't I allowed was to have a TV. So mm. lucky. Yeah, we weren't wow. allowed, to have that, allowed to have that stuff in our rooms. Yeah, it was Damn. awesome. Yeah, and the only thing like my my parents are very big sticklers about like being neat and order, you know, mm-hmm. yeah. like keeping things cleaned up. So, but as long as things were put away, but I, yeah, I wasn't. When you were like, a kid, you did not. No, I I did because my oh, parents you, were really big sticklers oh, because, for that. Okay, but it wasn't like so, oh, this lamp's yeah. the wrong color for the bedside table. Right, exactly. Okay. Like, oh no, like I, I would, Greg, this would drive you crazy. As a kid, like I was watching TV when I get home from school, I'd lay on the coffee table. Really? Yeah. That sounds very uncomfortable. I, I, I don't know why. It was like, to me, it was comfortable. Hmm. Like I'd take a little like uh, pillow from the couch, put it on the on the coffee table that That's was funny. closer to the TV, Child and line I would like, floor. I would lay there and, you know, watch uh, whatever the show was. I would lie on the floor. Yeah. Now, mm-hmm. Greg, can, Greg won't even sit on his couch, which is four sitting. Often, can you imagine laying on a coffee table? Although no. he could bang on one. <laughs> Definitely could. <laughs> yeah, that would be a great spot. And has. Yeah. Right. More than likely. Yeah. Oh. Okay, because that's just a theory. That's of mine. pretty funny. I'd, yeah. I'd say it's a, a fact. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I mean, outside of like the very rare occasion, yeah. Right. Be like, I never had like with my hetero kid friends. I never had that conversation. Like, like oh my oh, god, yeah. move this dresser <laughs> to this side for the morning sun. It would, to... Yeah, it would make the room look so much larger. You, you don't know anything about scale, do you? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>